What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today I'm gonna be saying why this iPad is the most underrated iPad ever. So the first thing is the size. It is meant for two-handed use. It is meant for a touchscreen. This is what the iPad should have been from the start. See, you can touch everywhere. My fingers can both cross easily. So that means that it is pretty good for touchscreen use. This is how small every iPad should be. The next thing is what this thing is capable of. Even though I haven't done it yet, since I prefer using a keyboard and a mouse, this thing is capable of editing videos. It even has the Apple Pencil 2 support. Thank God it doesn't have the Apple Pencil 1 support like the iPad 10 has. And yeah, it is really small, compact, I just really like the form factor as well, even has USB-C. In fact, this thing could even replace my MacBook. I had to replace my MacBook for a little bit with my iPad. Now, we've been hearing rumors about a 16-inch iPad Pro. I was like, what? How is that supposed to be used? And my first thought was with the keyboard support. Well, if you are buying this specifically for the keyboard support, it would be tiny. But what you can use is a magic keyboard and magic mouse. But you can use any other mouse and keyboard to be honest, but these are just my preferred ones. I wish I could get the magic trackpad right now, but not right now. Might get it later, not sure. But even though the keyboard is a lot bigger, I actually had to get away with using this but I have to use a different keyboard. But going back to the iPad, this thing easily can replace a MacBook Air for the average user. Now obviously it does not have Final Cut Pro yet. Apple, secret, it will replace a MacBook if you add Final Cut to it, at least for me. Name a better tablet than the iPad mini. Well, you might say the iPad Pro. Well, my excuse of not getting an iPad Pro is specifically for the size. Yes, I really want to take advantage of Stage Manager. You don't get that since this thing has the A15 Bionic inside. But other than that, it has everything else that you would expect from an iPad. It has basically an iPhone with the App Store introduction, except it doesn't have a calculator. You need to get a calculator. iPad OS 17 Apple. That's your time to add the calculator app to the iPad. I mean, Apple, if you don't know how to make a calculator app for the iPad, there you go. I even made one in Preview. This is made in Preview, except for the Apple frame. I was with, done with the shortcut, but this is how you get a calculator app on the iPad. And yeah, the camera is just as good as my phone's camera, which I'm using to make this video. And this iPad has never given up on me. It doesn't even lag or anything and just as long as we can run more of a mac os on here this is our replacement now what do i want from the future of the ipad mini well first things first i want the m1 chip inside of it or the m2 chip since that's probably what's more likely going to happen if we can get the m1 or m2 chip inside of this ipad it will make this thing an absolute beast we'll get stage manager and everything fully apple external monitor support and yeah if that happens i'm obviously going to upgrade from this ipad right here another thing i really want from the next ipad is an actual keyboard support but if we get some sort of keyboard support some sort of trackpad support and on this ipad i would also upgrade and immediately buy that keyboard as well especially if we get that mac os mode that was rumored last may by patent yeah this is why this ipad is the most underrated ipad the best value ipad even in 2023 thanks for watching comment like subscribe share this with your friends and i'll see you in the next video bye